Um, so I've made a M5 stack version of the Physically Fawcett project just because it's a little bit easier, it doesn't require plugging all the wires and things. Um, although it is a little bit more expensive, Physically Fawcett's like $7 or something, whereas these things to buy, I think they're like $20, $20 $25, something like that. Um, so still cheap um, and still good fun if you go into a meetup and you want to put it on a wall and then people can go up to it and they can, you know, get some Satoshis. We're, we're going to be exposing the admin macaroon, so do be careful with... Um, uh, with your uh, Physically Fawcett M5 stack version. As with the last Physically Fawcett project, I view, I'm using my new favorite development environment, which is to have a Zap LND Neutrino wallet. So it's just a simple Zap desktop uh, wallet and then connect to that, um, which I've made a video for on how to do. So uh, if you're not sure, then, then um, uh, you know have a watch of that. Um, this is going to be connecting to lightning.gifts, just like the last project as well. I'm going to um, run the Servio um, server not Servio server, the SSH tunnel to servio.net. Uh, I can do that without having to install any software. And then um, I can turn on my little M5 stack. I actually updated the code a little bit, so we've got like a nice fancy schmancy splash screen, um, which you could change. I've got a video for that somewhere in my playlist on how to change these splash screens on the M5 stack. Oh, if you can see, can't position it properly there. Can you see that? There we are, so it's Dorian. There we go, that's a better angle. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, and then it just says press any button. Uh, so free Bitcoin, press any button. So if I press a button, processing, that could be a little bit, uh, generating gift. And then let's have a little look. I'll open a wallet, there we are. Um, it's got a really nice resolution TFT actually. The, to be fair, um, M5 stack, the TFT screen they use is better than the one I used. So the one I used is, a, it's got a resolution of 160 by 128. This is 320 by 240, I think. So you usually can tell in the, the quality of the image on there. And then make payment. There we are, I got, just got 100 Satoshis. And then this says more sats in five minutes. So this is a really nice, easy, um, uh, yeah easy use of the physically faucet faucet project and you can see why it's making connections um, over tcp on, on here as well just as with all my projects it's on github um, so to download this project i'm just going to whiz through this now the uh, m5 stack version is in a separate little folder here um, we can just because it's got an image uh, uh, a, a file attached to it as well the, probably the easiest way to do this is to, to just download the whole project and then uh, open up the zip um, and then go into the M5 stack version, and then we've got two files here. So if we go to our sketchbook, um, so in your Arduino ID install, you'll have a sketchbook, and then we'll make a new M5 fizz. We'll make it, oh, it's saying that. We need to make sure that the folder name is the same as the um, M5 stack version, is the same as the, the name of the Arduino IDE. Um, INO file. So M5 stack version. Okay. And then pop those two files in there. Open it up. Now at the bottom of the physically fossil kit up here, there's some information on the libraries you need to install. Um, you don't need to install Oh, <laughs> you don't need to install this graphic library here. Uh, you just need to install uh, M5 stack instead and that has the, a graphic library built into it. But you do need Arduino JSON and you don't need QR code either actually. Let's have a little look what we need. Um, now all we need is Arduino JSON and the M5 stack um, libraries. So they're easy to find if you go to oh, include library and then manage, manage libraries there. Um, if you type in M5 stack in here, M5 stack. Blah, blah, blah. There we are. Um, and install that library. And then also do, do the similar for the, the Arduino JSON library. So let's have a little quick whiz through the code. We're connecting to Lightning GIFs to generate our, um, our voucher, um, which is using LNURL, um, uh, which I can't shill enough. I think it's a great standard for, for wallets to adopt. Uh, for somewhere to put your Wi-Fi details here, so you can obviously connect to your Wi-Fi. You've got to put in a subdomain here. Just make up any old name for your servio.net thing. As long as when you run it in terminal, 
where are you terminal here we are um, that you uh, use the use the same name okay um, and then your LND uh, admin Mac room which you can find in that zap tutorial on uh, on my playlist um, some variables let's go down and see what happens right so we turn on m5 stack uh, get a little thing saying connecting to Wi-Fi and then once it's done that so it'll just loop around until it's connected once it's connected it does a no check so I think the no check is a bit better on this project where are we no check the code's much cleaner on this one no check here we are so it just checks to see if there's a node if there's no node if we can't connect to your zap neutrino node it just displays a little thing saying no node detected until until it turns on um, and then we get into our loop so we draw our um, image uh, fizzfo map which is this thing here yeah I have got a video on my playlist on Walker the network on how to make your own custom image if you want to check that out um, and then what have we got here all oh, right we're just saying basically if any of the buttons are pressed then um, yeah, so we're just we're just looping round um, and, and, and checking to see if a button's been pressed. Once it's been pressed, it, it breaks that loop, and then it says processing, generating gift. Um, it does another node check just to make sure that uh, the nodes the nodes connected because obviously while it's sat there waiting for someone to press the button, the node could have disconnected. Creates the gift, makes a payment, and then checks to see if the the gift has been pay the pay the gift has been paid for. That's it. Um, and then if it has been paid for, it displays the QR code so somebody can retrieve that, that gift as a voucher. And then it checks to see if someone's retrieved it. When someone's retrieved it, it just runs through this little loop here, um, which is just like, uh, just locks it into a, a sort of time loop. So you've got to wait 60 seconds for the next, um, for the next, uh, uh, ability, you know, to be able to get more Satoshis. You, a, a, bit, a big bug would be you could just turn the thing on and off again, and then you could probably get more Satoshis. Um, uh, so really it should probably check when the last transaction was and then um, uh, and then count those five minutes from then count down from that maybe uh, but yeah that's a little bit more complicated so just make sure no one turns on and off again or maybe um, you could in, encase it in something so people can't access the on and off button uh, so we've got the under so in all Arduino projects you have the setup loop which is we've looked through and then we've got the um the, the main loop which just kind of loops through the main program and calls your functions and underneath you put in your functions so we got a couple of uh, get and post requests this is a post request um creating the gift on the um the api for lightning gifts um there's our node check before we looked at that there's the make payment um request where we do another post and we actually pay for it um via uh our, so this is connecting to our this is the one which actually connects to our zap wallet and makes the payment on our behalf which is using our admin macro room, so be careful. And then it checks to see if the gift's been paid. And there's another check there. And then it displays the QR code. Um, M5 Stack have a really nice QR code library. And that is absolutely it. There's nothing else to it. So uh, if you've got an M5 Stack, um, install Zap on your computer, make a, um, uh, make a faucet for people to play with, um, and then you know take it to your local meetup or take it to a conference uh, it's pretty cool pretty good fun or just experiment with it at home on your own and, and try and build other projects off it so thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you again